My name is Dave Ruths. I live about halfway between Northumberland and Danville. You folks know where Rick Marr Restaurant is. My wife and I live in the Stone House up on the old road. Um, my wife is Colleen Epler. Her dad was John Epler, and her uncle uh, is Joseph Epler, Epler Funeral Home in Northumberland. Um, we live up there where the Epler Farm is. Some of you folks might remember when Eplers used to sell the milk in the plastic bags. Um, what I have is a glass bowl that uh, has been handed down through the family. Um, this was actually uh, my wife, Colleen, um, her great-great-grandfather, John F. Epler. Um, this was a bowl that he had given to his wife. Uh, John F. Epler had, uh, the main story about him and the family is he was in the Civil War, like a lot of people back then. And he was in the Battle of Antietam, and he was in the Union Army. And as they were coming across, the, if anybody knows the Antietam battle, they were coming across the cornfield down at Antietam, and one of his buddies, one of the Van Kirks, uh, they were walking in rows, just like they did back then, walking through the cornfield during the battle, and his buddy pushed him over and said, John, get back over where you should be, because he kept moving too close to him. But just after he had pushed him back to where he should be, John F. Epler got shot in the arm. And luckily the bullet went right through. But if he hadn't gotten shoved over, it would have hit him about dead center. Wow. So thank goodness his buddy pushed him over. That basically you know, kept him from being killed. Another part of the story is that after he got wounded, he went to the, uh, to the infirmary. And as he got near the tent, he saw the big pile of arms and legs. And he thought, this is not for me. So he then left, went to a stream nearby, cleaned out the wound, and then uh, had also um, come in contact with a lady, you know, one of the, the locals, who then took care of him for a while, bandaged up his arm and everything. Um, and then he came back to Point Township, lived here, farmed. But because of the wound, he couldn't just throw hay bales like he used to. He, he could only really move hay bales one arm at a time. So this was a, a glass bowl that he had gotten for, uh, for his wife, and it's, um, in the family it's known as the applesauce bowl because that is always what was served in it. So we continue that tradition at our house. Every time we use it, it has applesauce in it. 